Yeah, go on, do it now. Go loud, really loudly. Get in there. Yeah, one more time, go on. Get in there. Brilliant. Get in there. I can't believe you haven't got a cook shirt on. How are you? You okay? Yeah. Right, we've got you something special. Oh, that is brilliant, isn't it? Hi, I'm Mason and I'm a massive Elsie Bourne fan. I had a completely normal pregnancy and Mason was born uh, 10 days late and when he was born he had no skin on his legs or on his chest and he was put in an intensive care unit. The midwife knew nothing about it, um, pictures were sent to Great Ormond Street and Great Ormond Street came down and they diagnosed him within three weeks to say it was the most severe form of recessive dystrophic epidemiolysis bullosa which is called EB for short and it's a fragile skin condition causing external and internal fragile skins. There's Jordan I've boots that you give me and signed in mine. I've got all my, all my programs on there. I've got a big folder of them there. Bed. I've got I've got my medical room in there. For the first year of his life I couldn't even pick him up, I couldn't cuddle him, I couldn't kiss him, so you carry a baby for nine months and you can't even cuddle your baby, it's absolutely heartbreaking. And then you put clothes on him and even the seams on his baby grows and his nappies had to be lined, it would completely blister his skin, so we had to wear inside out baby grows for the first two years of his life. And basically any friction on his skin would cause blistering and cause him um, a life of pain basically. Yeah, so this is Mason's medical room where everything happens. Um, he's got specialist bath, um, dressing table where everything happens. All his dressings are in the cupboards, padded toilet seats. He can't sit on a normal toilet seat because of his skin. Um, yeah, basically every, everything. He spends probably two, three, sometimes four hours a day in here every day. Um, and that's either before school or after school. So we can't just sort of get up and leave in the morning. We, he has to have all that done every day before we can before we can get on with our lives, basically. He went from a few patches of bandages on his skin to a whole bodysuit of bandaging, to, not just to protect his open wounds, but to protect him and make him less less fragile. So we could handle him as parents. And then we started to wear. He started to wear normal clothes and we had to adapt everything. So we cut all the necks out of his shirts, out of his t-shirts. Um, just, he can't stretch his arms into t-shirts because it would, his arms are so sore. If he had a collar on a shirt or a t-shirt, that would blister his neck and then his neck would be open and then it would cause major trauma to his skin. And um, obviously when he'd become a massive AFC Bournemouth fan, he wanted the shirt like every other child does. And we had to adapt all of those as well. So it meant cutting a slit in the back to get it over his head to stop any trauma to his ears or his neck. And we've basically adapted everything so he can live as normal life as possible, like, like his friends. So we basically cut the neck because it hurts his ears and then um, put a popper on so it looks, can join up the same and look like remotely the same as the other shirts but unfortunately we have to cut everything and adapt everything so that's one that one's done too there's one here we have to cut the whole collar off because any collar on mason's shirt will that one that will rub all his neck and take all the skin off his neck and then if it's high up it will take the skin off your neck right now so we have to sew all that down as well um so yeah, it's a shame because they're so expensive and they're so lovely and the, the actual fabric for the shirts are really good for his skin, but we have to adapt everything and unfortunately we, that's the only thing we can do to help him. I cannot explain. He has, he has the most positive attitude to life and nothing, nothing, not even EB is going to stop him and we will continue to do all we can to make his life the best and we will make sure that he lives a life he deserves and to try and be do everything that his friends could do as well. So um, it means a lot of, it's a lot of challenges and it's a lot of hard work, 
but yeah, he, he keeps us going. He's tough, he's positive, and if he can do it, we can all do it. Just off to go and see um, a young Cherries um, supporter, Mason, um, who has a skin, skin condition um, called EB. Um, he's had it obviously all his life, and um, I've known Mason for a good few years now. Um, got to know him and been around the club a few times. Um, and we know he's such a, um, a big uh, supporter of the club. So the club have, have um, customised the shirt for himself um, to make things a little bit more easy, um, putting it on and um, a bit more comfy uh, for him. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to be delighted with it and hopefully um, it will bring, uh, bring us some luck. I'm proud to wear the, the kit and going to put my favourite team on. Yeah, one more time, go on. Get in there. Brilliant. Get in there. I can't believe you haven't got a cook shirt on. How are you? You okay? Yeah. Right, we've got you something special. So it's a shirt that's easy for you to put on. Thank you. Is that all right? Yeah. I don't know how we're going to get a name on the back though but we might have to work it. Yeah. I think only mine fits on it, all right? <laughs> so, what do you think? Yeah, it's good. Yeah? Yeah. Mum? Yeah, cool, it's really cool. I think it should be uh, perfect. Is this your room, is it? Yeah. <clears throat> nice little setup, isn't it? Yeah. So you can fit a couple more in there. Yeah. I think you need the new one, don't you? Draw the nice boots. I've never played Fortnite. Ever. The Hobbit. That'd be very fun. Yeah, and that also looks yeah, yeah. stretch it and make things easier, eh? Match day? Yeah. All set, cut the time down. Get to the stadium earlier. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. 